we talk a little bit about the Bombers? You have some history there. They're, um, I think it's 28 and 10 in the last two plus, two plus seasons. Mm -hmm. It's pretty impressive. What's made them so good for so long? You know, um, they got a good group of guys that's been there for a while, you know, and um, kind of reminds me like the Spurs. You know, you had Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker, and they have a good core, right? And I think uh, when teams have a good group of uh, you know, guys, that, like a core that's been there for a while, offense, defense, special teams, you know, you got Mike Miller, Caleros, Jeff Coat, uh, Willie. It's uh, and you keep those guys, you can build around those guys, right? So I think that's why they've been able to be so dominant uh, the past two, three years. Caleros has certainly made a difference since his arrival. He's 22 and two since he became a starter in Winnipeg. What has made him so special wearing blue and gold, do you think? Uh, he's, for, for one, he's an awesome person, right? And I think uh, yeah, football, soccer, sports is all about relationships, right? So if you can build relationships, then people are going to want to play for, 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 for a guy like that, right? So um, I remember when I met him in 15, when I was in Hamilton, he was there too. And he was the same guy back last year when I was there, right? So I think it's just when people have a, a good uh, character, good morals, and, you know, they're just about building relationships, that's what makes teams grow, and that's what we're building here with in the Coach Jones. How good would it be to beat these guys for the first time this season for them to mm -hmm. suffer a loss? Uh, you know, well, first of all, you know, it would be big for us to add another win column, especially at home. Um, I know there was no wins here last year, right, at home. So that's something that if we can bring to the city of Edmonton, to our fans. Um, you know, it would be big for us, right, in that aspect, you know. And if um, obviously if we win, you know, it'll be their first loss. But, you know, I think we were thinking more about us, you know, so building to what we want, which is to build uh, something big here. What's your son's name? Jared. Jared. In, in English. Jared in Spanish, Jared in English. J A R E D. So, trying to make them in. The graphic we're going to have to put son Jared with great hair. Exactly, yes. It's got the bangs and everything. So, you, know, you never got a chance to play against your old team in the, in the preseason, from what I recall. No, um, you know, unfortunately, I had to go back home. You know, we had a, you know, the death of my father in law, right? So, um, you know, it's going to be, it'll be good to see the guys again. You know, I still keep in touch with quite a bit of the guys. And, uh, you know, Johnny Augustine, Benson, Legs. Uh, so, you know, we'll probably meet up tomorrow, you know, go eat some Mexican food, you know, stuff like that. But uh, it's, uh, hopefully they get the runs. No, <laughs> but, Do you have a place around here? Have you found yeah, a so, good spot? Yeah, it's called Ma Maria's Mexican Northern Cuisine. I'm there at least twice a week. Nice. You know, it's like at my grandma's house. Fresh homemade tortillas, salsa. You know, so uh, it's the first time actually in my since in my seven years in Canada that I found a legit Mexican spot, right? And there's probably other ones, but I just right, haven't right. found, right? But like in all the cities I've been, Ottawa, Winnipeg, uh, Vancouver, this is by far my favorite one. So, and, and I just feel like I'm at home every time, right? So, it when I feel homesick, I'm definitely going. I go there. It's funny you had to come to the northernmost. Pro team city, <laughs> right? In the exactly. Continent, right? Exactly. So, but uh, yeah, we'll be. That's the spot to go. Sergio, you, you never had a chance to, you know, game on the line, kick that game-winning field goal. I mean, that opportunity hasn't come up here yet. Uh, I mean, is is that kind of the thing, you know, kickers dream of? You, you know, as me as a kicker, I want I want to kick a game winner every time, right? That's me, right? But uh, um, just trying to do my part, you know one kick at a time, you know, if it's wherever they need me, need me, if it's on the sideline as a teammate, if it's, you know, if it's, if it's kicking extra point or three points, right? So, uh, you know, I tell, I told Taylor, I'm like, hey, just get a couple touchdowns, give me two fields, we'll be fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and whatever distance, I mean, Chris Jones has been calling you out on for some bombs all season. Yes, so, you know, and that's uh, the comfort that we have and, you know, just uh, growing over the years and more than anything, just, just enjoying the game more than, more than anything. Are, are you getting are you getting used to the whole? Uh, I mean, mechanic, the trio of you guys. I mean, it hasn't always been the same, but are, are you guys getting? Yes, and, and the good thing is that, like you know, um, you know, Hutter and Beard, they've they've done it before, right? So, um, and uh, when Hutter didn't 
ca- uh, a, ca- a hold for the for, for the last you know five weeks, he was still doing it as a backup, right? So he was still molding his craft more than anything. So uh, we're getting a good comfort level, you know, you know, doing our, our our drills that we that we have to do. So you know, it's definitely been growing. And you know? beard, beard's okay. I mean, you, you don't always see the center snapping long like mm-hmm. that. He's uh, oh, he's he's solid. Yeah. He's good. You know what I'm saying? So more than anything, mentally, he's. He's a loose cannon, you know. He's just he's no worries. <laughs> a little bit bigger for guys to have to run around. Uh, yeah, exactly. Than a yeah, long snap. yeah. You you don't have to worry about anyone coming in. So he definitely uh, that's where he gets paid the big bucks. Thanks. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you.